Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this is Ben here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new review. How are you doing? Uh, you know my episodes come out every Friday, so I'm hopefully the first person to uh, welcome you to your weekend. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, hope you stay safe, healthy, and positive. So uh, you've seen the title, you've seen the description, so you know this is none other than Beloved Man by Amouage. I have a lot. I have a few tricks up my sleeve uh, this week. So if you fall, if you're the kind of person that is, if you're just following my channel each week, uh, regardless of which fragrance it is, uh, you will appreciate this one. I think because it, it's a slightly different format. And then the second thing I would say is, is uh, if you are new uh, to the channel and you subscribed last week, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'll quickly say that I have a five star. A five, five spray uh, system in my five star hotel. And no, I have a five spray system, and uh, in which I the number I give in my rating is the exact number of sprays I put on myself normally. Although uh, when I it, when I have a fragrance that is dry as a bone, uh, they, I use faux sprays. So uh, if I give a you know two out of five, then I put two on me at the end. Uh, the, the second thing I'll mention with regard to the channel is I really it really really helps me out a lot if you turn on your notifications uh, for this channel and then every Friday when my episode comes out you are notified. Um, this is especially relevant for those of you who are on a smartphone. If you watch me only on your phone uh, make sure that you turn on notifications for this uh, channel. Uh, and then actually as I mentioned last week a lot of people actually who watch my episodes are not the subscribers they've just stumbled on because of the actual fragrance so welcome to the cologne crew uh, we are um we are a phenomenal bunch and i have really enjoyed uh the back and forth that i have each week with all of your uh comments it means a lot to me thank you so much so let's uh let's dive in shall we um so here's the deal right <laughs> i have had so much fun this week with beloved man uh for 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 so many different reasons Here's the deal. Ramsey reached out and he and I were going back and forth on, on which fragrance he was going to send. He sent five. And I remember I was out, I was out walking and, uh, cause I didn't have time to check. And I remember, uh, he brought up beloved man and I said, yeah, throw that in. Um, and then as soon as I got the package, I smelled it and I was thinking to myself, yeah, I know I've smelled something either really similar to this or something was, was eating at me uh, with regard to uh, how this fragrance, what, what, what this fragrance was. So I, I looked on my channel and I have actually reviewed this one. And I will put it up if my, if my YouTube skills have improved, it should be... And if I got the side wrong, then I'll do my one finger. Yeah, right? uh, I'll do that for you guys. Uh, but it should be right approximately there. Um, should be. Uh, anyway, uh, that is episode 27. So it was two years ago. And uh, it was before before I had the, uh, the mic. If you haven't seen the episode, it's before I had the mic and before I had the headphones. Let me know if you prefer that approach, actually. Um, my, my voice would kind of give out toward the end because I was just kind of shouting at the laptop. Uh, this one allows me to have more of a conversation. But, uh, you know, if you if you like the dynamism of, uh, of, of me shouting, let me know. So uh, that is episode 27. So first and foremost, I had already reviewed it. So then the plot thickens because he... He wrote, it's either in green or blue. It might just be blue, but it's, you know, dyed a little bit. It looks green. See that? Do you see the B there? I think there, there it is, right? You can faintly see it, right? So when I was reviewing Portrayal Man uh, a few weeks prior that he sent, it had a P on it, obviously, on the bottom, and this one has a B. So on the first day of Portrayal Man, I grabbed the wrong one, and I put it on me, and I wore it for the day. And again, the same thing happened. I was like, I, 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 know, I know that I've either, you know, worn this i've had this but if i've had it why haven't i reviewed it so then i decided on that first day that i was wearing this fragrance uh, i made some notes so here's the good news the good news is i gave it the exact same rating that i did two years ago which is three out of five 
So there's a lot of good to come out of this, right? Uh, you can make a, the, the, I guess the bad would be, I, I should have known uh, that I had uh, reviewed this one, but hold, hold, hold your horses here. The good news is that I gave it the exact same rating, three out of five sprays that I did two years ago. So then what I did was when I realized my error, of course, the next day, the second day through the sixth, um, you know, I wore Portrayal Man and then I did the review for that one. Um, and then now that I wore this this week, uh, a few things came up. So I looked, uh, I'm not going to quote it this time, but Christopher uh, Chong, the direct, the creative director of Amouage, uh, said that Beloved Man is something along the lines of, you know, it takes you back. It's the, it's the warm feeling that you have when you, when you look back on, on, on a loved one uh, and you, you remember the, the good times, something along those lines. And I was laughing because actually I did not remember uh, Beloved man did i so uh, i don't i didn't really come through there and i and here's why w one thing i said in the original episode this is a quote it says i said smells good but doesn't have a distinctive character so so here here's the issue uh, with this one i stand 100 percent behind my review two years ago uh you can check it out again uh and that's episode 27 and uh i i, I rewatched it this week and I, I missed a couple, there are a couple of categories I'll add in this review, but I'm not going to go through each normal category that I do simply because I've addressed it and I, and I stand by everything that I said. Nothing has changed. The, 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 uh, the, the three things that I missed were, uh, I didn't really talk about age. So I would say for me, this is a uh, 30 and up. I said gender was, you know, to me, this is a unisex fragrance. Look, this is, a, this is the epitome of nice. It's the epitome of pleasant. So to me, it's, it's in the unisex range, slightly to the masculine side, just very slightly. So I would probably think that probably 60% of the people who actually own this, um, are probably are men and 40% women, 60, 40, something like that, maybe 65, 35, uh, you can let me know uh, if this is something, if you own it, um, what you think. But this is clearly a unisex fragrance. So so the age would be 30 and up for me, man or woman, wouldn't matter, of course. And then um, I didn't really talk about sillage back then. And so sillage, when you're coming in on a room, leaving a scent trail, uh, this one is just moderate. See, he here's the thing behind Beloved Man. Beloved Man is, a, it is a very warm kind of... Um, you know, dryer sheet, you know, pleasant scent, which is why, by the way, this is my choice from this house as the one I would give as a gift to somebody like as a blind buy. Of course, you don't you know recommend that, but far be it from me to give a niche fragrance to anybody, because if I get one, I'm probably going to keep it for myself, quite frankly. But uh, if you have a lot of money and you uh, want to give someone a gift, uh, a niche fragrance, then uh, this one would be the one I would choose because it, I don't want to call it a crowd pleaser. I just mean it's, I don't know how anyone could dislike this fragrance. You might be neutral on it. It might be good. You might say it's, you know, it's nice, but nothing more fine. But to outright dislike it, you're not going to really see too many people uh, in the reviews on YouTube. I would imagine uh, outright disliking this one. This is this is a warm, inviting, even romantic uh, fragrance. Because it is so pleasant, it is highly, highly versatile. So, the, and the fact that it doesn't have monster sillage and monster projection, monster, I would say projection is about an elbow's length away uh, from the body, and so I'd be looking at maybe, you know, it'll project quite good for the first probably four to six and then tail uh, down toned down a little bit um it's not a skin scent though i mean it, it it projects a little bit see it does exactly what you want because because it smells nice you can wear it at the office and you can easily wear it uh, at night i mean we, this is a highly versatile fragrance so uh that's what i would say as far as the projection moderate sillage moderate but that's exactly par for course for what this has in mind uh because of it definitely day or night i mean there's just same way with seasons i already covered that in the other episode anyway so uh, i'm good there so age projection sillage 
And then the other thing I think I maybe didn't talk enough about last time was I talked about the initial blast more, which is definitely the um, LME and grapefruit. And I actually pick up orange in this one. I, I didn't pick up orange the first time. I definitely pick up orange in this. And then the base notes, though, have uh, guayac wood, which is one of my favorite notes, patchouli, and cedar, among other things. But that's what I pick up. So I pick up the LME. I pick up the orange now, and I pick up the grapefruit, definitely. And then in the base notes, I, I can pick up the patchouli, the cedar, and uh, the guayac wood. Uh, although I, I would say it's relatively toned down with guayac wood. It's more cedar and patchouli to me. But that's what you have going on with the notes. Uh, this is the epitome, again, of warm, pleasant, nice, cuddly, I mean, you know, the, the list goes on when it comes to that this type of fragrance. What I said earlier, I'll say it again. Uh, does that mean, though, that it's really worth $330? $330? Um, I, you know, and I, I would say no for me. I looked retail last night, and it was like $199. You can get it for about $200 uh, for a 100 milliliter, uh, 3.4 ounce. This one is another one that's very, very difficult for me because um, I have to tell you all week... <laughs> I gave it a three two years ago. I gave it a three when I, I didn't know what it was called. The, the bottle, for me personally, the bottle is just gorgeous. I love the bottle, and I love the box. So I guess the question that begs to be asked for you guys is, should that matter? You know, I do take into consideration the, the sprayer, but the actual bottle itself and box that it comes in, I... I usually remain agnostic when it comes to this. Uh, the one exception would be if if the if the if it's annoying, like um, Prada Amber Pour Homme. I love that fragrance so much, but they have the the sprayer off to the side, and uh, it's actually kind of hard to spray. So I guess I guess I include it sometimes, but the actual like aesthetic look of the bottle and box, I don't usually really take into consideration. Let me know what you think. You know, comment down below if you think in a review that we should. In, in, in incorporate or include or consider this in our rating system in the past i really haven't all the amouage bottles are are beautiful though that's that's the thing that keeps me at the three because i'm tempted i'm really tempted to give this a four out of five here here's the deal right i gave i, I gave three out of five for portrayal man and for sunshine man and i promptly booed myself many times for that uh, if, you know, in the editing but I did give it three out of five. But then here's, here's my question. I mean, I like this much more than those two. But is this, is this really on par on the same level as Lyric Man? I, I, don't, I, I see you. I see you looking at me. I, I don't know that you can say that. Uh, come on. I know this is all subjective, but that's what I battle with. I don't give half sprays in my rating system. It's either th one, two, three, four, or five. Here's the other thing that um, I, I, I was thinking about. When it's a four or five, usually after I will uh, rate it, I will distinctly remember it and I will really, really want to go out and buy either a full bottle or you know a smaller size, whatever, but I really go after it. I start looking for it. I start looking for deals. Um, and I, I never did that with with this one. This one has this one has a lot of certain specific uh, situations under which I would conditions actually under which I would purchase this one, and that really speaks to me to be a three. So this is kind of like a three point, you know, f four nine 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 nine, and nine, we're just not going to round it up. I'm going to stay at three. Uh, you let me know if you think that this is on par or even better than uh, Lyric Man. I, I don't know how any of me, come on. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, that's what I struggled with because the three out of fives, I usually will say something like, I might, I, you know, I might have it in my collection. This is the same one. I, I really like this one. It's very, very, very pleasant. It's very nice. Is it opulent? No. Uh, is, it, is it stunning? No. Is, is it just very, very well done and has a clear objective and is nice? Yes, but for 200 bucks, I'm not going to go there. So for me personally, if I, if, 
if, a lot of if clauses coming. Uh, if I saw it as a tester, if I could swap for it, uh, if, you know, I saw it at the right price, because uh, the bottle is beautiful uh, and the box, then I, I, I would consider that because I really do appreciate this one. He, here's what my daughter said about this fragrance, and I completely agree. She said that this smells like the fragrance section of a department store or duty-free. You know, she, she said department store, but you get my point. It ha- I, I don't want it to be a fragrance shop like Sephora. I want it to be that, that area of like a duty-free or a department store where you walk in and you hit that section and you're like, oh, and, and it's kind of like a, you just smell this aroma of a blend of all the fragrances in that section. You know that smell? And it, and it just hits you and you think, you know, I, I would love to just work here. Uh, I always think I, I, I could just work at a duty-free at an airport in the cologne section um, all day. Uh, and it really does smell like that. It, it smells like a blend of a lot of fantastic fragrances. So what's wrong with that? Nothing. Uh, there's just nothing. Does it have distinctive character, though? It does not. That's the negative. The positive, though, is, man, this is this is one of the most versatile fragrances I think that I've ever reviewed out of 120 episodes. Not everyone has been a full review, but let's say 100. Out of 100, this is, this is probably the, one of, well, either the most or one of the most versatile fragrances I have ever uh, reviewed. Man, I mean, it's, it's unisex. It's day. It's night. I mean, it's practically everything but winter, and even winter would work. So I didn't, I didn't like the exclusivity of it. I know it was only offered in, maybe it was Har- Harad's. I'm not sure, but it was only offered in certain department stores in the, originally. I'm not sure which ones, though. Um, but at this point, you can just get it on amwash.com, and you can see it at the discounters. And as, like I said, 200 bucks. It, you're, you're, you're now speaking more my language. This is more of like a $100, $150 fragrance for me. My, my my take on that. I really struggled. I really, really wanted to give this one a four. And I almost had a weak moment until I went and looked at my uh, my review on Lyric Man. And I'm thinking, I, I can't say that Beloved Man is on the same level uh, as uh, Lyric Man. You know, when you have 38 people who view your episodes, mm-hmm. these are the things you can do. You can have this kind of, you know, internal conflict about whether it's three or four sprays because in the end, I mean, does it really matter? I'm going to go three. Okay, so it is three out of five. I'm working actually in the post-production right now, but I simply couldn't resist coming back because I wasn't originally going to do the sprays uh, like because I did it in the previous one. But you know what? In episode 27, must have been one of the last episodes I did um, before I started to do the sound effects for the sprays. It doesn't have one. So I actually just spray, but there are no sound effects. So we can't have that. We have to end on a high note and we have to do it the right way. So we are going to do three out of five. For beloved man, uh, and uh, I'm gonna go one on each wrist and one on in the uh, chest, and of course, don't forget these are faux sprays because I am dry as a bone when it comes to this one. But I have to put it in, and I have to give it the sound effects. So here we go, three out of five, beloved man, and wash. And I feel at peace now. And I'm happy this happened. I'm happy that um, I reviewed it two years ago. I'm happy that I accidentally took notes the one day I wore this and thought it was a different one. I gave it the same review, so a lot of good has come out of this. Uh, I'm also happy that I had the last five weeks to wear these decants. This has been so, so much fun. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this review. Thanks again, Ramsey. Stick around uh, for the 18 people who have gotten this far. Stick around to uh, the bonus feature, which is coming right up. And that one, I'm going to talk about the five uh, decants that he sent me. And I will be giving out my awards. Uh, Hope you're doing well. Thanks again for always uh, uh, promoting my channel, always supporting my channel. It means so much to me. Uh, Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. All right, so welcome to the bonus feature uh, in which I give out the coveted, exclusive That Cologne Guy Awards. 
medals. So Ramsey sent me five in, in the last five weeks. This is the end of the road for me. I'm so sad, actually. I've had, I've had so much fun. And yes, I'll say it. I've had a blast. Um, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, here's what I did. Honorable mention is a tie, and honorable mention goes to Portrayal Man and Sunshine Man. Um, neither one would. It's it's a it's a it's a tie for the honorable mention. I know a lot of you guys liked Sunshine Man a lot. Um, as I've said before, there is no amouage that I would not want. It is my favorite house. I love even when they don't really do much for me. I still like them though. That's how great this house is. They're still better than most fragrances. Um, I wish the price point were lower, of course, but it's not. So deal with it. Portrayal Man, Sunshine Man are the honorable mention. Tie. Then the uh, bronze medal goes to Beloved Man, uh, which is uh, also three out of five, but it, it, it is the dangerously uh, close to four. Um, and then I have then I have the silver medal goes to Imitation Man. And as I've always said, say Imitation Man without smiling. You can't do that. It has character. It's got personality. Uh, it's kind of the antithesis to Beloved Man, right? Beloved Man is like the the crowd pleaser, um, and then and then Imitation Man is like this is who I am. I'm gonna take a selfie and I'm gonna put it up on Instagram, okay? And uh, and then give me all these likes and stuff. All right. So, uh, and then the the gold medal must go, of course, to Overture Man. I really really like that one. That one is a five out of a five uh, spray uh, in my uh, system. So, uh, honorable mention: Portrayal and Sunshine Tie, Bronze Medal, uh, Beloved Man, Silver Medal, Imitation Man, and the gold goes to Overture Man. That said, though, I have thoroughly enjoyed all five of them, and uh, what a what a fantastic house! I mean, this has been great. So, uh, ha- see, having hashtag Amwash fanboy return has been a lot of fun for me, and I'll I'll be moving on to uh, uh, some topics and some other reviews, different houses, but. Uh, Thanks again for everything. I really appreciate it. Those are the awards. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me-